So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your TikTok pixel for your WordPress and WooCommerce site. So it's going to be a really simple way of setting it up just so you can get it up and running pretty quickly. Um, and I'm going to show you each step of the way uh, of how we're going to do this. So if you're not familiar with this channel, my name is Oli. I run a marketing agency and we focus mainly on Facebook advertising, but we also started to implement some TikTok and Snapchat advertising to our services. And we mainly service e-commerce businesses. So uh, without any more information, let me show you how to do this. So the first thing you need to do is obviously to set up a TikTok ads manager. Uh, I'm not going to go through that because that's quite a process in itself, but that's pretty intuitive and you will figure it out. So after you have set up your ads manager, then you want to come into the ads manager and you want to go to assets and go to events. Once we're in here, you want to choose web event unless you have an app. And as you can see here, we already have a pixel set up, but I'm going to set up a new one just to show you how to do this. So we're going to hit set up web events. Then you choose TikTok pixel and you hit next. Now it gives you pixel and name and I recommend choosing your business name and then you choose a manually install pixel code. Now I do recommend choosing the standard mode unless you know how to code and then you hit create. And here we go. So this is the code. So make sure you copy this. This will be placed into your website and I will show you how to do that. But before we go any further, just make sure you enable automatic advanced matching. This is going to help TikTok match your uh, website visitors with their users. And it's going to give you better results for your ads. Now, once you've done that, you can hit next. And let's just leave it like here and go into your WordPress control panel. Now, once you're in your uh, control panel, make sure you go to plugins um, and then you want to install a new plugin. Um, unless you already have a header and footer plugin, um, then you don't need to install a new one. But if you don't have one, uh, you will need to install one so we can place this code in the header. So as you can see, I already have it installed uh, and I'm going to leave the link to the plugin that I use in the description below. Uh, and that is this plugin right here. Header and footer scripts by Digital Libertarian. Uh, and then go back uh, and then you go to settings and then you go to header and footer scripts once you've installed your plugin. So then if you already have some code as I do, make sure you scroll all the way down and then make some space and paste the code that we copied. And once you have it there, save settings and there you go. So now let's go back to events manager in um, TikTok and set up some events for us to track. So what I'm going to track in this example is just a simple uh, booking confirmation. So it's going to be event name um, complete registration. And I want to track uh, every time someone completes a registration on my website. So uh, just so you understand what I mean here, I'm going to show you what I want to track. So this is the website. Um, so this website's job is to convert leads into uh, demo bookings. And that's done through this button right here. So on this page, it's a form that people can fill out and then they will get a demo of a product. So once they fill out the information and hit uh, book the booking button down here, they will end up on this thank you for booking page. And as you can see in the top here, we have thank you for booking in the URL section. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this last part of the URL and then I'm going to go back to events manager and put that in here. So what this is going to do is every time someone completes uh, a booking um, and lands on this page or lands on a URL that contains this page, completed registration will be tracked and sent to TikTok. So once I've done this, I'm going to complete setup. And just before I do that, just want to show you some event settings here. If you want to, uh, you can actually enter a value here. If it's a purchase page or if you know like uh, 
if you have some kind of estimate of how many of your bookings become a customer and then you can kind of give a value per booking in a way and uh, then you can add that in here and that will allow you to you know track some ROAS numbers uh, and figure out you know have some good numbers in the TikTok ads manager dashboard to optimize on but in this example it's really hard for us to track how many how much a booking is worth because it's such a long process before they become a customer so i'm just going to leave this uh, for now and i'm going to complete setup and there you go so now it's set up so as you can see there's no activity yet but let's check now if the pixel is properly installed so to do this you need to install um, a chrome extension that's called tiktok pixel helper i will leave the link for this one in the description as well so make sure you go in and install this one uh, and once we have that installed you can go back to your website and you go can hit the extension up here and then you can see the pixel that we install is active so now let's refresh might take some time before the pixel helper actually is tracking and i've even discovered that in some instances you don't really see it in the pixel helper but if you go into the dashboard here and refresh after a while you will see that um, the events are being tracked so let's do that for now let's see and there you go so we just have after i refresh the page we have one page view so now if i do refresh the thank you for booking page as well we should be able to track the complete registration and since i already done this once i'm just going to show you what happens after a while so as you can see here after we refresh the page a couple times the events are being tracked properly so that's how you can set this up i hope this video was helpful if you liked it if you want to see more you know stuff like this make sure you leave a comment down below if you have any questions if you have any you know problems leave a comment below and i'm happy to help you so i wish you a great day and i hope you want to subscribe and also if you really want to get good at digital marketing and have all the secrets and good stuff then join our facebook group which where i share all kind of secrets and tips that i have and i also answer each and every question that is being posted in the group so i wish you a great day ahead and i hope this video was very helpful